the machine for me. I'm just gonna go ahead and finish it. I don't, I'm not, I'm not in the mood anymore. Uh, he actually did say they moved the trapdoor game, um, so I'm gonna go back. So I just didn't see it. Thank goodness, I was afraid to get rid of mine. Oh, I got rid of the game. I don't really wanna play anymore. Come 
Pokemon cards. Squishy ball. Card. We have everything. We never got the. Do we have the ninja? Do we need the ninja? We, we already have a blender. I should get one. We don't have one. But isn't that? It's not the same as the blender we have. No. Take a. Take a picture of it and look it up to see if it's worth it. Because we have like everything else. Skull speakers. That's interesting. Axe throwing game, because apparently that's still a thing. Thought that was a fad that was not going to last. Can't touch the lights. Xbox, Echo, Big Plus that I already have, Monopoly, Little Pokemon, Guitar. All right, so we just left Dave and Buster's. Um, we didn't stay as long as we originally planned. I had a coupon to use. Um, I, if you watched my first part of the video, I was complaining I couldn't find the trap door. Robert found it. He won me this Batman. No, I'm sorry, Robin. Robin. I knew it was Robin. I'm just a little hangry. Um, so uh, we had not been to this location for a month now. So they had one new game, Pong, which you saw I posted a video about it. Um, it's a fun game. It's not a ticket game, so it's just, you know, a time waster game. Nothing wrong with that. I prefer ticket games. If you love the original Atari Pong, you're going to love this Pong. I actually did enjoy it. Robert didn't, but I don't think you were really an Atari kid, were you? I played Atari, yeah. But you didn't like Pong? Never liked Pong. I didn't the, like it then either. Yeah, the paddles are just like the paddles from the 80s. Yeah, like, yeah. it's sensitive. I never liked the paddle play. It's, so it, 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 drove me nuts. it gets you wrong. Um, and it wasn't very clear on like how it actually works because uh, if if it's only one player, you're playing against the computer. But then if a player joins, you you can get three outs. And if a player joins and they get out before you, I think you should continue playing. But you don't. The game ends and you have to scan again. So I didn't like that aspect of it. So if you play with like a bunch of kids that are bad, your game's gonna be really short. So um, and like I said, usually these games have like clear instructions. Like especially the first screen will explain it to you. And there really was no explanation. Explanation. Um, I played Star Trek. The main reason was I really wanted to play Star Trek. So on the way here, I was all gung ho. I want to play Star Trek. And then we get there, um, I don't know, Saturday afternoon. None of the machines had any good cards on it. As you saw, my game um, broke and I had to wait for the employee to fix it. And I just, I don't know, I lost the desire to play Star Trek. Plus, it's the same trouble cards that I have a bazillion of, and I'm sure it's going to be the same um, trouble series for like a couple more months. I don't know. I haven't heard if they're going to change it. Anyone knows next time they're going to change it, please comment down below. I don't know. Um, but I'm glad they didn't get rid of the trap door. Robert said, Robert played a lot of games without me this time, um, and that's fine. He doesn't always like to be recorded. Nothing wrong with that. He said he played the big claw and it just wasn't working. It was soft clawing everything. Soft clawing everything. Yeah, it wasn't really grabbing. And he got, of course he got a jackpot on Telecate Toss and he got some 500 on Zombie Snatcher. Yeah. Um, he's up to over 200,000 tickets, um, 203,000 tickets mm -hmm. I think. So he must have got 3,000 tickets today because I swear last time he was below 200,000. Um, and that's it. It's still my favorite location, don't get me wrong. I think the problem is we're going on vacation tomorrow and all I can think about is vacation. <laughs> that's what I'm looking forward to. Uh, but I did want to use uh, the coupons. Like every once in a while you get 20 for 20 coupons through your email or on the app and lately they've been pretty stingy. 
Uh, when sometimes like there was a couple months there where I get one every single week I hadn't got a coupon for over a month so I definitely wanted to apply this coupon before he left so I barely used any of my tokens I'm sure I still have over 400 for when we come back from vacation we will go to Dave and Buster's again and Robert did you even spend any of yours no, no, he still really. has like 300 tokens yeah. too. So we have plenty and I think there's even another coupon on the app So I might actually use the app one to like double use the use the mail one today And then use the one on the app because like I said, they've just been stingy lately and it's just um, If you know anything about advertising and mark advertising and marketing the coupons You know, they're not doing very well when they send out a lot of coupons <laughs> When there's no coupons, that means they're doing really well. So I think it's just, um, in my opinion, that's how it works for Dave & Buster's. Because during the summer, you barely get any coupons. Well, they're yesterday busy. they gave an upbeat um, upbeat earnings call. So Did they? Yeah, the stock went up fairly well. So, yeah. Yeah, it's I my first coupon for a while. They, I guess they think they're going to do as well as they thought. Oh, and that's the other reason I went. This is the other reason I went. I completely forgot. So I have... Um, you also, if you use the app for your card, you get rewards tokens. And when you get the reward tokens, like every $100 you spend, you get like 90 tokens or whatever. Um, they only last for 30 days, and mine were getting ready to expire. So that's why we came today. I wanted to use up those 90 tokens. So I hope it works. I hope it uses first in, first out, or last in, first out, because otherwise, if I still have a balance... Do you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah, I do, but... You know what I'm trying to say? I gotta look on my app to see if it shows that I still have those 90 tokens. Otherwise, I'm not gonna spend all my tokens just to use those 90. If they're gone, they're gone, whatever. Um, but hopefully I used them. It's one of those things, use it or lose it. So anyway, I've done enough rambling. Like I said, I'm ready for vacation. We're going to Florida again. I know, we were just there, but we love it. We love Florida, don't we? Say goodbye, Gracie. Say goodbye, Gracie. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching. Please hit the like and subscribe button. I'll see you later. <laughs> All right, I'm back. I did check the app. I have 14 rewards tokens left. So it did use it did use my most of my 90. Um, I don't know why it didn't use all because I only used 75 at Star Trek, and we played Pong like three times, so that's 28. So I should have zero. I don't know why it's 14, but that's fine. I, I'll, I think I have to use them by the 28th. I'm okay if I lose 14 chips because on the plus side, I still have a virtual re reality play, um, which I shouldn't because I used it to play Terminator. So apparently when we played Terminator, the guy didn't scan my card enough to take the virtual play off. So hey, we're going to play Jurassic Park next time we come back. That's my favorite out of all the um, virtual reality games, the Jurassic Park one. It's the best.